Hello, you are watching my first SGC submittal. I sent in 21 cards uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago, I wanna say. They have a 10 day turnaround. However, uh, my priori priority mail where you have to have signature signed, I sent out, um, it was, it took about <laughs> 10 days to get there or so. I forget the exact time, but it was, it was a lot, but uh, I wanted to make sure I did not lose it. It was insured and everything. So. Um, that's why it took some uh, extended time. I did have a, a, a friend who has one posted on YouTube right now. He did, uh, I think he got it back within five days from the day he sent it out to the day he got it back, five business days. It was something really incredible. And he had, uh, I think he had like 10 cards he submitted. So anyway, this is 21. I have a list and what I think I got them graded as. So I'll go through a lot quickly. A bunch of Patrick Mahomes rookie cards, uh, Josh Allen rookie card. Uh, you know, all these cards range from like 50 bucks to uh, maybe four or $500. Nothing incredible. I'm a big Austin Riley fan, Braves fan, uh, Justin Herbert, uh, Cole Anthony, Kevin Durant rookie. Got to have one of those at least graded. Igor Shosturkin, I don't know if you're a hockey fan, but he's uh, very young, but already ranked the second best goaltender in the league. And uh, I want to show the everything there, but uh, a couple other ones. Illusions, there's another Patrick Mahomes rookie, uh, another Herbert rookie, and Topps Inceptions, uh, a Corbin Burns, really nice auto. So I, I this is what I think they graded. Uh, this is what you showed on another page too. And so you see a lot of nine, nine fives. Actually, uh, you know, I wouldn't get anything graded unless I thought it was at least a nine. I did want to just check out one Mahomes because I thought maybe it'd get a, you know, higher than that eight five nine range. So I said, uh, well, let's just send it in because I am a Chiefs fan, I'm a Holmes fan. So these are a lot for personal collections, but also I think I'll probably sell some if they're nines or below um, or something like the Cole Anthony. I'll probably just end up selling, putting on eBay. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay. He's over the wrong way, right? <laughs> All right, so we'll start off. First card. This is a beautiful card. I bought all these cards off eBay. So Corbin Burns out of 199. A 10 auto, 10 grade. Great card. I think I will hold this and probably sell it during baseball season. See how if he gets hot in the market, but great card. I really love Inception for uh, baseball. And then um, uh, what's the other one for uh, basketball and football, Origins. I will just love that look. And here it looks like a nine for uh, trifecta material, Obsidian. This is a Herbert rookie, again, another one numbered. I try to always get all my cars rookies and, and numbered. So I like this card. I probably will sell this though. So that's one that will go up in the market on eBay. And here's the one I thought would get about an eight five or so. So I was right, right around a nine. I think it had some kind of mark somewhere. I honestly don't even remember, but uh, again, I still wanted to Patrick Mahomes rookie out of a hundred. It is an odd card. So that's why I decided to get it graded. That will be uh, most likely keep that one. <laughs> Uh, and here's my Igor Shesterkin. So that's what I thought. These cards were in perfect condition when I bought them. I think I paid about 100 bucks each for these. So uh, Young Guns Hockey. I used to, I just sold uh, past summer a bunch of uh, Connor McDavid's for a good amount of money raw. I wish now I actually got them graded. Probably could have gotten even more money. I was getting anywhere from 900 to 1100 on each of those. So, uh, and I bought them really low. Uh, so it's that's what I enjoy doing, kind of like the stock market. So it's a good hobby for me, but I also like to collect some to keep personal. So I have a bunch of others of these that will get graded. So I bought about six or seven of these between the canvas and then the young gun, regular young gun. So uh, another 10. So uh, this is good so far. I'm seeing my eyes are at least eBay eyes are pretty decent and, you know, bring them home and deciding if you get them graded. So I really didn't do much on this. This is just right out of the probably I assume from the pack and the seller posted on eBay, I bought it and that's the way it is. So these cards, good to know that these grade well, it looks. 
Next card is, oh, okay. I was not sure. I think I said I would get this around a nine maybe. And um, so for this to get a 10, impressed. You know, it is, uh, you know, older card, I guess you could say. But I did want to have at least one of these on there. So I'll hold this for a little bit just to have. I do have more, uh, which is good to know. And maybe I'll get, get those graded as well. This one I will sell. Uh, I do like him because I'm a Duke fan and I used to hate him watching him. I always, a uh, North Carolina player, always watched him play. So I uh, watch every Duke game. So I've seen a lot of him in college, liked him. And so I do have a bunch of autos and I just wanted to get one to see how that would go and how he plays as well before I get more graded. So uh, this, uh, I'm happy with this grade too as well. And this one is not numbered though. Not many cards I won't get numbered and get graded at least even. So being a Braves fan, uh, this I just watched this pitcher all year. I think he's, you know, he's a, he's a, uh, a Mike Bucina type, I'll say. A guy that's just going to get wins. He's not going to blow you away with strikeouts or anything, but he just gets wins. So this guy, I think, is going to be a great pitcher for a long time. It's out of 99. I bought this for 40 bucks, maybe. I forget. I'll have to look. So... Happy about that. I'll hold on to this one as a Braves fan and maybe eventually sell it on a high. See how he does next year a little bit. Uh, this is one I'm definitely keeping out of 99. I have, a, again, a bunch of Austin Riley rookies. I have some I already bought greeted pretty cheap um, before it was even popular. So it's good to see that uh, these I bought, that my eyes, again, are, uh, got good eBay eyes, I'll say. <laughs> So out of 99, a 10, I like this card. And that should be, uh, that should be a couple, a couple hundred bucks I'd imagine. Now we're gonna move to Herbert. Just out of, this is out of 899 a lot. I, again, I sold a lot of my Herberts raw and this is just some of the ones I had left. I said, uh, I'll, I'll keep this and uh, see what happens. So I do wanna have some of them. I might end up going back and flipping that on eBay. This one is out of 99, 55 out of 99. Not really sure, maybe the corner there. Don't know why exactly, I'm gonna guess the corner a little bit. Very little though. Maybe the centering and the back a little, it's hard to tell. I always wanna learn on, okay, why is it that? Why isn't it a 10 or why isn't it in, you know, a 9.5 if it's a nine and it's just that little difference. So I try to compare some of these cards with other ones that I have. I think the rest are going to be in the homes for the most part. This is second year. I have a couple of these, two of these I uh, put up. I have one raw one on eBay. I know um, right now it's, it's selling. So this one, I will keep this one at a 225 to 10. And if the other one's a 10, uh, I think I'll sell regardless of what it is. And it's a 9.5. So this one will be up on eBay. Still nice card. I just like the way they look. I have a ton of Mahomes cards uh, between his rookies and second year mostly, but I do have more beyond that. Another Mahomes. This is mythical. I do like the way this looked. Kind of shocked it's only a nine. Um, not really sure why. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be there now that I'm looking at that. It looks like it is, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't know. I'll have to have some other friends look at this for me just to see why i did have another one that's a 2019 I, I like a lot but i didn't get that graded so i'll have to maybe get that one graded just to see what the difference is so this i might probably put this on because it's, it's you know 2020 and um being a nine i thought it would have graded better so that probably will be online as well and a 10 okay i did not think this was going to get a 10 but that's good. Uh, I will keep this being his rookie. I like that. It's just uh, nothing special, but it is uh, a nice looking card. So uh, any Mahomes rookie really, uh, especially Prism or Optic, you want to get graded. Next one's Josh Allen and uh, Optic, okay. Rookie Threads. I'm gonna guess it's just the centering, that's why. I did want to get one graded. I knew it wouldn't be bad. Surface maybe there. Uh, either way, this will be up online. Don't think it was numbered. Yeah. So this is one of my favorite cards. I think uh, this is definitely a keeper. 
So it's, uh, it, it, again, it's, it's not a, a high-end card. It's certified. Uh, I wish the, uh, patch was a little bit better, but, um, it is a cool card. I just, I just love these. I have, uh, Deshaun Watson one too. I think, uh, KC starts going up, but, uh, when he starts, comes back and plays, but this card is my favorite Patrick Mahomes one for whatever reason. I just like the way it looks. It's out of three ninety nine. This is a keeper, so I won't be getting rid of this. Okay, nine. This is what I expected. I thought this might be a five nine around there. Uh, Mahomes again, a rare card at one seventy five. Uh, I just think some of the corner, the corner was very. I mean, not bad at all, but and again, the patch kind of plain, but still really cool card. Something rare you don't see. So that's why I wanted to get that one graded. I uh, probably will keep this too, but I might sell it. I don't know. Still have to think about that. <laughs> And Rookie Phenom, a 9.5, okay. So this is Don Ross product. Back. Down to last two. And we got an optic version of the Rookie Threads. So this is, uh, I'm happy this is anytime an optic or prism 9.5 or higher. That's what I'm looking for. So glad to see that. Again, you know, these cards they paid like 30, 40 bucks probably back you know, years ago. So glad to see that this is uh, going to get a return on value at least, although this will be my PC for now. Last but not least. Okay, I like that. This is uh, another one. Uh, my home second year atomic material out of 100, and that's a 9.5. So another PC I'll keep for now, and uh, I'm happy about that. So overall, I think a good job on my grading. I, don't, oh, I can't keep it out, so it's probably too far, but a lot you can see here on the left side, what I thought would get, and then the right side, what it what it ended up being. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I You know, there's some cards I thought were gonna get lower and actually got higher, so, uh, you know, that, that's a surprise. So, uh, but yeah, so that's my, uh, First submittal to SGC. I like doing SGC just because the turnaround's fast. In my personal opinion, if I have like cards that are around that value, you know, under, I don't know, I even have graded if they're under a thousand dollars, just, you know, uh, go to SGC. Um, anything over, you know, a couple thousand, something like that in that range, I, I would definitely go to PSA. So, uh, but that's my first break I've ever did. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I will uh, hopefully be posting more down the road. Thank you.